Create with Ingrid. Today we're going to work on a little bit of sponging to create this scenery. I think you'll feel confident that by the end of this you're going to have this um, technique mastered. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to use Lovely as a Tree, which is a great silhouette stamp set. Um, I love this stamp set. It's got such beautiful images. And I'm using the clear mount stamps. So go ahead and get our stamp inked up with Versamark, which is a watermark ink. Um, this is a great ink pad to have, something that every stamper should have. Um, you can create wonderful tone-on-tone -tone images by using this. You can see I do a little bit of a twisting motion here. If I just go straight down and up, it because it's a sticky ink, it has a tendency to pull my um, stamp upward, and that will... So I'm going to go ahead and stamp this, not quite centered, just slightly higher and just straight down, straight up. It's a pretty good sized stamp, so a fair amount of pressure. And I know this is going to be really hard for you to see here. Uh, it's a watermark image, so it's just ever so slight. Um, we're g the reason we're doing this here is because we're going to go ahead and emboss this, but first I'm going to stamp it a second time using Stays On Jet Black Ink. And this is a piece of plastic where I stamped the image on here. I don't know if you can see that that image is on there. And I'm just going to line this up with this image and then stamp my permanent ink. Let's get that out of the way. Let's get this perfectly lined up. I want to get it perfectly lined up and then just drop it a hair just ever so slightly. Not going to worry about it too much. I just want to have kind of a shadow. So I'm going to put my T down, and where that is, I'm going to just let that stay. And then I'm going to go ahead and pop my block in there, and then stamp. I'm just going to give it a couple seconds to get to the paper. Gotta love, stays on ink, right onto the uh, Versamark. Creates a little bit of a sticky situation. and. I know you can really only see the one, but I promise you the other one is there. Now while that Versamark ink is wet, I want to go ahead and add some crystal clear embossing powder. And one of the reasons I chose Stays On ink rather than our classic ink is, you know, I wanted, I wanted to make sure that it wouldn't smear in any way, and Stays On is a permanent ink, and so um, it really is the best choice right now. Um, for this type of a project. I'm just going to go ahead and get that back in there, cap off that extra, get that out off. I'm going to go ahead and um, heat set this, and uh, I'll see you back in a few minutes. Um, we're going to do a little bit of masking, and masking is pretty much exactly the way it sounds, just putting something over it, like a mask, like you would wear a mask, and then we're going to apply some ink around it. I'm going to take uh, two of these, actually. Here we have just a big post-it note. Um, I like to use these for doing these bigger projects versus smaller post-it notes. And um, I'm going to punch a circle out, and we're going to use that for the moon. I need a bigger, I need a couple pieces to, of paper together because it doesn't like to punch through single a single sheet. So just going to create a moon that way, and the good news is you get two for the price of one by doing that. So I've got want to make sure that you have the sticky part on it, and we're going to put a moon down, just kind of right here, covering some of the some of one tree or two trees. Just cover a little bit of this tree over here. Just pop that that baby down, and then we're going to also have a couple of other masks for the bottom. I need a mask for my trees. mask here that will then perfectly match this. And I'm going to start by doing the skyline. Because the side is up, what I like to do is I like to just add a little bit of dotto or snail um, to my mat and that'll just hold that in place. Okay, we're going to start off by using Bashful Blue 
and a sponge I've just cut into quarters. This is my lightest color that I'm going to use. We're going to use Bashful Blue, Marina Mist, Midnight Muse, and Night of Navy. You don't need to remember that because they're on the blog. It's all written down for you. And we're going to go ahead and just go over this. Now because I use the stays on ink, because I use that stays on ink, um, those trees are not going to go anywhere. I want to get a little bit around the tree. You know, and if you're not so certain, like it's going to be too heavy, just go ahead and rub some off. And then start from here out and then come onto your paper. It's easier to add more color. You can't take it away. So just keep that in mind. I do want to leave a little bit of white uh, just because it's going to kind of give it that moon glow kind of look. So we're going to go ahead and leave the white. I'm going to leave that close by. And then I'm going to take some of the Marina Mist. I'm going to go on to the next color. I'm just going to add a little teeny bit at the base. More darker on the edges than inside. Um, only because it's kind of framing, framing your work. So we'll just rub a little bit off and we'll just do a little around the moon. I want this to be rather light when I'm doing this. So I'm just going to add a little bit more color here. You know what, and you're going to do this a couple times before you find where your, you know, happy medium is. This is going to be Midnight Muse, and this is a rather dark color, so I'm just going to definitely get some off here. just want to definitely start this one off and just kind of work my way onto my project. You can see it's adding a really pretty shade. This Midnight Muse is a gorgeous color. It has a little bit of... Um, a little bit of a, kind of like that not quite navy look to it. It's very, very pretty. Yeah, a little bit more here. It's just a little too much white. And it's a little, you don't want it to be all white, but just have that little bit of a glow. And then my last step is I'm going to go ahead and take not quite, I'm sorry, night of navy, which is super dark, as you can see. And this, I'm just going to have a little bit on the edges, ever so slightly, just a little tiny bit. Really want to control the amount that's on there. Okay. Now, it's a lot easier for me to go back and to take, say, my Bashful Blue, which is my lightest color, even though I'm all pretty much done with my sky here, and then add a little here to really blend it all in. And you can see here, I have this little white silhouette around the trees, and that is that embossing powder. And what it does is it kind of gives it a look of snow, which is kind of pretty. I like it. So what I find by going over this a last, this last time, I have, I create a little bit more of a smoother surface. So, I would definitely recommend that. I think I've gone a little too dark for my light, my taste. But, you know, like I said, it's trial and error. You can see what a beautiful, beautiful contrast that is. I mean, it looks pretty cool already. It's a gorgeous sky. It almost kind of looks like there's a snowstorm going on around here.